Hey guys, this is Flash coming at you with my 2016-2017 preliminary winter weather forecast. This is one of my favorite times every year when I get to put this out and unveil a new write-up and show new graphics and just have a whole fresh discussion on what the winter weather landscape is shaping up to be. Now, you're about to watch a special presentation uh, that links to my write-up. Um, I put a new one out every year. A couple things, a couple points I want to make, um, just kind of like disclaimers, you know, just to preface this PowerPoint. Number one, I can't emphasize enough the word preliminary. Uh, chances are, uh, I will be issuing some status updates in the months ahead. And that kind of syncs with my second point, the fact that this is a very different setup atmospherically. Last year we were gearing up for a Super El Nino. The signal was so strong, consensus was so tight um, that a Super El Nino was coming, a very strong El Nino. And this year we're seeing a very different setup evolve and just know that because we don't have such strong signals it makes for a trickier forecast. So even though last year I didn't issue the status updates, just know that uh, this is a year where I might do that. So preliminary, um, some certain things are subject to change and I would actually say likely to change. Speaking of likely, pay attention to adverbs in the write-up. Um, words like likely and probably uh, reflect situations, teleconnection patterns that don't merit 100% confidence or even 90 or 80% confidence in that for that matter. A lot of what I'm I'm looking at uh, it's how the teleconnections are now and we try to project that get a feel for how this will translate by the time meteorological winter arrives December 1st however I'm hoping to at least ballpark and give you a, a rough idea a skeleton if you will of what will happen in the three to six month range again between Thanksgiving and the start of spring 2017 so sit back relax and enjoy my 2016 2017 winter weather forecast.